Hi there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com. We'll be practicing for the day. This one's for the intermediate player, and today I want to talk about some different voicings for our C chord. Over on the website, www.LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com, um, we've done similar exercises with um, uh, D chords and A chords, I believe. And I'll be shooting more of these with different chords, and there may be more over there now, I can't remember. But um, anyway, they're under the Practice Tips of the Day video blog tab. And, um, but today I want to focus on the C. Um, to get started, we, we, first we need to know what a C chord is. All your major chords are nothing more than the, the first note, third note, and fifth note of the major scale of your root note. So for the key, of, for the C chord, it's a C note, E note, G note. So what we're doing, we're looking for different places on the neck to play different combinations of C, E, and G, and that gives us a, a, some opportunities for movement within our chords. And, um, uh, um, and, and, you know, you can add a lot to your rhythm playing that way. Um, you can use them for accents as well. All right, so you also need to know that um, uh, seconds, fourths, and sixths also sound nice with major chords. So in the key of C, seconds are Ds, fourths are Fs, and uh, sixths are As. So any place we need to or want to put one of those other notes in there is fine. Drop it in there. It'll, it'll add some character to what you're doing, and um, it, it'll, it'll sound nice. It won't take anything away from your C chord. All right, so let's just jump right in. All right, so this is our traditional C chord. You already know that one, so we're not going to dwell on that. And I'm just noticing that I probably should have grabbed a different guitar. This one doesn't have dots on the front, so I'm going to call out fret numbers while I'm going. But I'll move up a little farther on the neck. I'm going to use my fifth string C note as my root, and that's in the third fret. And I'm going to let my open D string ring as my second. Uh, D is the second note of the C scale. I'm going to catch another um, C note here on the third string. I could let it ring open because G, the, the string is G, and, and G belongs in the chord. But I'm going to I'm going to play another C there to, to add more C-ness to the to the chord, for lack of a better term. And I'm going to play an E note here on the on the um, second string in the fifth fret. So, all right. So this one. Oh, and by the way, um, this E note, the the sixth string is 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 an E, and that would belong in the chord. I just don't like the way it it, it, it tends to, to me, it, it tends to take away. Uh, it, it's overpowering everything else. So I'm not going to use any. Um, uh, chords that let the E note ring. It's, it's just it's just too strong and it, it, it just sounds like an E something rather than a C something. But you know that's my ear. You know let your ear be the judge. You can use the E. The, the E belongs in the chord. You can use it on every one of these if you want to. All right. So anyway, so this one's kind of close to our main chord. So it's easy to get to kind of quick. You know. So let's move a little farther up the neck, and uh, I'm going to use the eighth note, I mean the eighth fret of the sixth string, that's a C note, I'm going to use that as my root, I'm going to place my uh, first finger here in the seventh fret of the fifth string, that, that's an E note, that's my third, I'm going to again let the open D string ring as my second, I'm going to let the open fifth string ring as my, as my uh, sorry, third string ring as my fifth, G is the fifth note of that scale. And I'm going to play another G here on the second string, and let the first string ring open. And I like this one because it, it's far enough away. I like this. These are to me these are accent chords, you know, when you're playing. So it, it gives me a chance to to do kind of a big slide because it's so far away from the open position chord. It gives me a chance to slide up to it, and you get a different dynamic of your playing that way. You know? move a little farther up the neck and I'm going to drop the I'm, I'm going to forget about the sixth and fifth strings and I'm going to start here on the fourth string and play a C note in the tenth fret. I'm going to let the open G ring and I'm going to play another C note on the second string in the uh, 13th fret and I'm going to let the open uh, E string ring. It's a first string ring. Alright so that, that's kind of a nice ring. All of these are well this one's to me is, is very ringy. This one's very ringy. This one is a little more subdued. But, you know, we're looking for different sounds. That's the whole point for, for, you know, the exercise. So anyway, this one's a long way away from my main chord, so it gives me lots of opportunities to slide. So, you know. cap 
off the other end, if I wanted to go all the way up a full octave, I could just take my regular traditional C chord, drag it up 12 frets to the to the where my, where my first finger's in the 13th fret, and play it up here. So you can get in here, and in here, and then here, and then the last one here. Um, I usually don't go up that far, but I'm just we're exploring opportunities, so. Let your let your ear be the judge, and just you know, just kind of you know. And, and these are not the only ones you can play. You can you know you can do different voicings, and I just want to get you thinking about it so you can you know uh, expand your own playing. Uh, anyway, so uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one, and I will see you next time. Thanks.